Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this graduated dotacure in shades of pink. If you love nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that we're going to be using today are Zoya's. Most of them are from the Pixie Dust line. This darkest pink is Lynn's. Then we have Miranda. This slightly more coral leaning pink is Zoe. Also has quite a bit of hollow there as you can see a flash of. And then we have Levi, which also has some hollow in there. For my base coat, base color rather, I'm going to be using Zoya Aspen from the Matte Velvet line. these dots today I'm actually just going to be using a small brush rather than a variety of dotting tools. I've also got a little lid here which is where I'm going to be placing out my polish and starting with the darkest pink I'm going to get some of that out and start with the largest circle at my cuticle. As I move up the colors are going to get lighter and the circles are going to get smaller. you need to do any cleanup you can go ahead and take care of that and once you're ready you can finish off with the top coat or you could leave it as pixie dust texture but I like to make things glossy as usual I'm using sesh feet So here's the finished manicure and I do like it but I'm not in love with it. I don't exactly regret my decision to use a brush instead of a dotting tool considering how large the dots were but it did bring its own set of challenges and if you'd like to see some of those challenges of course the live stream archive will be up here on YouTube in a couple days. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. I do love this color combination, and uh, that was the catalyst for the whole manicure. I just, I the imperfections in the design are bugging me just a tad. I'd love to hear what you think of it down in the comments. If you enjoyed, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, 
Thanks for watching.